Hey everybody, a quick video here for you today. Now, I've been asked by a couple different subscribers about a site in Kazakhstan. And I've made a few geoglyph videos recently and they asked me about this site. There were some articles put out about this uh, a few weeks ago that I saw posted. I might have even posted about this, but this is just kind of a big mystery. And this is what the most impressive one looks like. And I just thought I would take a look at this on Google Earth and just maybe get a first impression of it looking at it here on Google Earth. But uh, the story on this is that this was, these geoglyphs were discovered um, maybe about eight years ago using Google Earth, and they have just become a big mystery. I've read a few articles about these. They are not very helpful. The brave authors uh, put a window on the dating of these, sometimes somewhere between 800 BC and 6000 BC. And hey, you know, thanks a lot. That uh, that really narrows it down. That's like something discovered in 10,000 years, being dated somewhere between 2015 and 1,000 years before the first dynasty of Egypt, somewhere in that window. So in other words, people have no freaking idea. But obviously very impressive. I am going to measure this here and uh, do it in meters. Across, we are looking at about 300 meters. A long way here, diagonally. About 410 meters. So that is a very large structure, I believe, formed by just placing rocks together to form these little circles and then putting them in this pattern. What is this? Uh, I really don't have any idea, just as long as the people who uh, write history and have been investigating the site. Obviously, it's a very new site. If it was really only discovered about eight years ago, and it looks like it's kind of in a remote area, and uh, this just kind of proves there are so many more questions about our ancient past than answers. But uh, one thing that is a very slight possibility is, now I'm, I am lined up to north here, that this line going across diagonally could be lined up to the summer solstice sun, the sunrise of the summer solstice sun. That is just a possibility. Um, looking down on this, in my mind's eye, I see a pyramid. You know, taking the four sides here and looking down in your mind's eye, you can kind of make out a pyramid. But obviously nobody has any idea what the purpose of this was for, but it was obviously something important. If it is that large and uh, so much time and effort by somebody, somebody took to make this. So I just think that's very interesting. Now I'm going to just jump over to one other geoglyph in Kazakhstan and then uh, wrap up the video. Now I'm going to take you into a second site here, and this is probably the one that people talk about maybe the most, or the second most at least, and this is what people call a giant swastika cut into the earth. And I think that's just what pops into people's mind when they see it. I really don't think it represents that, but who knows? Answers are very hard to find on this. Once again, I'll try to line up to true north, just and once again, that does little to signify what this represents. Got some small circles up here, obviously cut into the earth, and all, just a whole bunch of stuff over here. Across this dirt road, we have this about 125 meter long, whatever this is cut into the earth, but this site many more questions than answers and answers are really nil the guess is these are carved somewhere between 800 bc and 6000 bc so somewhere in that little window of time these were created by somebody and we have no idea the history of our planet is much more strange than we can imagine and you see here this site is located by some sort of uh, little body of water and one theory is these were somehow marking water in this fairly arid land that is just a guess once again these are the geoglyphs of kazakhstan 
They are a big mystery. I have a few answers. If any of you have a comment, an idea, I'd be curious to hear it. Hope you thought this was interesting. You have a nice day.